Hey guys, Bart from TST Industries here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install these TST Industries LED flush mount signals on a Honda Grom. These signals are available in clear or smoked lens. They come pre-fitted with bullet connectors. As an option, you could purchase these harness converters that convert the bullet connectors to the Honda OEM plug. It's a pretty simple and straightforward install. Let's begin. In the first step, we will be removing the, the Phillips screws from behind the signal pods. There's one on either side of the bike. Then we will need to remove the top bolts here. And here with the bottom screws, what I like to do is take them out one by one. Remove this boomerang looking part and then screw the bottom screw back into the screw boss. We'll do that same procedure on the other side. So the removal of this silver boomerang looking piece from the upper fairing involves unclipping it, clipping these two clips from these windows and withdrawing it. And once you have that done, we will move the upper fairing and the, the headlight down like so, and that will give us access to the plugs for the signals. This is the left side, and the blue one here is the right side. I like to use a very small flathead screwdriver. I use that screwdriver to pry up on the locking feature on the plug. It makes it very simple. Once we have both sides off, we can begin disassembly. If you pull up on the signal, it frees this metal piece that's sitting in there, locking it in place. You can push it down from the outside in and remove it. Now the signal should come out freely. You can now install one of the TST industry signals into the well left behind by the OEM signal. We will use the plastic nuts that came with the TST industry signals, feed them over the wires. Now we need to arrange the signal on the outer geometry. So that it's nice and center on the, on the pod here. Then we'll finger tighten it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Go on to the other side. S signal's already halfway off. Push the steel piece 
from the outside to the inside. And the signal will come off. Remove the grommet. We can install the TST industry signal. Same procedure. Okay, so now that we have the signals positioned, we will tighten them down with a 17 millimeter wrench. Okay, so what you wanna do is get it tight enough, but do not over tighten because then you will risk breaking the back part of the signal. Okay, so this one's ready. We will insert these uh, bullet connectors into our harness converter, which is color coded, yellow to yellow, black to black. All right, and this assembly is ready to be put back on the motorcycle. Feed it through here in the upper fairing. And we will plug it in. For now, we'll just leave it hanging. We'll do the other side. Again, you just want to use the wrench to lock your signal in place. Yellow to yellow, black to black. And now we can plug it into the bike. And now we'll just test the components we just installed. Right one comes on, left one comes on. As you can see, it's not flashing. This is because the LED signals draw much less current from the system. And uh, the OEM relay, which is located in here, is designed so that when the current drops, Sometimes it'll flash very, very fast. So to get rid of this problem, we'll install this relay. It's a very simple procedure. We will pull this rubber keeper that the relay sits on off the bike. This will come out. We will unplug the relay from its plug. Plug in the TST Industries relay, just like that. And now we will swap this rubber keeper from the OEM relay to the TST relay. It's very simple. Now we will retest the components. As you can see, they're flashing. So the relay comes pre-configured at 85 cycles per minute flash rate. If you'd like to adjust that, the procedure for that is very simple. You will need to slip off the gray cover from the relay. That's done using a small flathead screwdriver. This will allow you access to this potentiometer. Turning it to the right, will slow down the flash rate dr drastically, as you can see here. Turning it to the left will increase the flash rate. 
So now you have a range of adjustment where you can fine tune flash rate to your liking. Set it back to approximately the OEM rate. Reinstall the cover, snap it in, and reinstall this assembly back on its keeper. And we will proceed to reinstallation of these parts and the entire assembly here. Now we will need to remove the bottom screw. Thread the wire in and reinstall the silver part back on the fairing. And get that screw back in. It just needs to be barely threaded in. It just allows us this pivot motion to be able to manipulate outside and inside this compartment. We'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Thread the wire in. And get this bottom screw back in there. Now from the inside of the fairing here, we will be making sure that the wire that we just put in doesn't interfere with anything. We have a white routing clip in there. What we'll do is snap the wires right into that clip. That way they're captive and not jiggling around. We'll do that on both sides. Now we can pivot this whole assembly back into its place. And reinstall the upper screws. Thread them in by hand first. Then we can tighten down with a tool. And there you have it. Signals are installed and you're ready to ride.